Uh, as Democrats uh, move closer to implementing the billionaire's tax, or are they? Uh, there are already moves being made to game the system, and Robert Frank joins us with a breakdown. Robert, you've been working the phones. Yeah, Andrew, lots to work through here. And we hope to get the details of this tax maybe today or tomorrow. But as you mentioned, accountants already looking at potential loopholes. The first set of workarounds is focus on trust. So billionaires could set up a trust to hold their shares, which would reduce or eliminate their tax. They would likely give up some voting power in that structure, but the beneficiaries could be family members, so the ownership would still be protected. And then there's charity. Now, the tax only applies to those worth $1 billion or more. Now, since more than half of billionaires in the U.S. are around $1 to $2 billion, they could gift their assets to their own foundation or a charity to get them right under that billion-dollar threshold. They get the tax deduction, and they would vo avoid this annual tax. And then there's staying private. The annual tax, as it we've heard about right now, would only apply to marketable securities like stocks or bonds, closely held assets like private companies, art, gold, or property. They would not be subject to an annual tax. They would be subject to this tax once it's sold. So you could see people shifting their stock holdings to private assets or even a wave of go private deals where billionaires would sort of see their companies go private and they would avoid that annual tax. And Andrew, you know it, Wall Street already working on products that would allow corporate founders to borrow more against their stock or buy derivatives that would limit their upside, but also help pay this annual tax. Okay, so Robert, the real question that I would ask you on, the, on that last piece is, do you believe the lawmakers are sitting there this week hearing about these types of efforts, thinking, OK, before we do this, if we're going to do this, we either need to close those loopholes or we need to figure out how to do this? Um, I doubt it. This is coming together so quickly. And if you look at the Ron Wyden plan, which is the blueprint of this, uh, it, it is a very different tax. It imagined looking at households or pass-throughs with 10 million or more, so they weren't just focused on the top. And we just don't know what this thing will look like. Again, they're putting it together in a matter of a couple days because they suddenly needed revenue. So I guarantee you, based on past experience, they're not looking at trust. They're not looking at charity or foundation work-throughs. They're not looking at how Wall Street could structure a derivatives product to get around this. Now, hopefully by the time it becomes a bill, maybe those things will be in there. But I know talking to accountants who help advise uh, Congress on these taxes that right now they just don't. All this is coming together too quickly. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.